Hey, everybody, how are you? This is Mike from NewYorkMike.com, and I want to welcome you to Freedom Fridays, and uh, we're going to have a blast today. Uh, it's going to be real short, right to the point. Uh, in fact, uh, if you go to my website, NewYorkMike.com, that's N-E-W-Y-O-R-K-M-I-K-E, -E, I, I got some great stuff there for you, some free stuff that'll really help you in what I'm going to be talking a little bit about today, okay? And it's free. Okay, so uh, what I want to talk to you about is the three S's of success. Now, anybody that knows me knows I love taking <laughs> these words and breaking them down and having some fun with them. So today we're going to talk about the three S's in success. And <clears throat> I, this is really important to understand because the, these three things that I'm going to talk to you about today are going to make your business much easier. Okay, and some of the tools that you might want to take a look at, uh, you might want to look at the book GoPro. Uh, like I said, go to my website, NewYorkMike.com, uh, and look for this post. Okay, I wrote the whole uh, blog post out here for you, and uh, but I, I give you a lot of free uh, things that you can click on and learn how to do something that I'm going to talk about in a few minutes on this. So. As I break down the three S's in success, the first one is share. Listen, you need to share your business every day. You got to be excited about your dream. You got to know that your opportunity that you're bringing to the world, and I don't care what type of business you're in, you know, I'm in the network marketing profession, but I used to be in a restaurant business. I used to be a policeman, okay? I was a detective, okay? And... <laughs> I, I want you to understand that I shared that everywhere I went, all right? And I'll give you an example. When I was a kid, I told everybody I was going to be a policeman. And this is going to happen to you in your business. I told everybody I was going to be a policeman. They all laughed at me. They said, you're never going to be a cop, okay? <laughs> I don't know why they were saying that, but they said, you're never going to be a cop. But you know what? When I got in the network marketing profession, they said, you're never going to do anything there, that's no good. They, they have, people have negative about everything that they're doing out there. And it's a shame because there's so many great people out there. If they would just open up their minds a little, they could have such a better life. So in Sharon, I told everybody that I, like I said, I was going to be a policeman. When I became a policeman, they said, oh, I knew you were going to do that. Okay, just like you're doing in your business now. As you reach the different levels in your business, they're going to tell you that. They're going to say, oh, I know you could do that. Oh, you were lucky. No, because they're not afraid. They're afraid to step outside the box. And if they would step outside the box, forget about it. They would be so much more happier. But they're afraid to step outside the box. All right, when I went in the restaurant business, same thing. They said, nah, there's too many bars over there. You're never going to make it. Listen, when me and my partners went in, we went in, we told everybody, even before we opened, we went around to all the other bars. Hey, we're opening a bar. We're doing this. We're doing that. I told everybody. Guess what? When we opened up the bar, anybody that knows anything about the bar business or any business, <coughs> any restaurant business, you'll know this right now when I tell you this. On a Tuesday night when it was raining, we were packed. You know why? Because we told everybody about it. We told people we were going to be packed on Tuesdays when it's a dead night in the, in the bar business. So you got to go out and you got to share your opportunity the same way. You got to go out and tell everybody. When I got in the network marketing profession, you know, I was a little scared at the beginning, you know, taking those steps and, you know, listening to everybody. They were talking about six Saturdays and a Sunday. Man, was I was dreaming of that. You know, because I wanted to be able to retire when I was 42. So what did I do? I started going around telling people about six Saturdays and a Sunday. And they were laughing at me and they were going, eh, that's never going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, listen, I'll never forget October 29th, 1993. That's it. I went in, put my papers in, my, my police department retirement papers in. That was it. I was done. I was done. And, you know, I'm 66 now, so figure it out. You know, that when I was 42 to 66, it's been pretty cool. And you know what? A lot of people say to me, ah, you know, you got to be a millionaire. No, you don't. You'd be surprised how much little money people got to make in order to keep a great lifestyle going. Okay. So six Saturdays and a Sunday are important. Okay. But you got to keep your message. Okay. You got to keep sharing your message. That's number one. Go out, 
drive the mata, the miles. I like to call it like today's Freedom Friday. I love to call my model Freedom Baby Freedom. And if that's what you want, man, you're, <laughs> you're going to be able to do it if you're willing to go out and share your opportunity, your business, whatever it is, on a consistent basis. So that's important. Number two, you got to keep it simple. What? Simple. So many people go out and they, they vomit all over the place about their business. Okay, they're constantly going out there, blah, 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 blah. they're spitting it all over the place. Listen, you got to keep it simple. That's why I love the book, Go Pro. Okay, Eric Rory wrote a book, Go Pro, and I remember meeting him in an elevator and saying to him, man, I wish I would have had a book like this when I first started. I'm going to encourage you to get that book because you want to use the examples in there when you're contacting a person so you're not puking all over them. Okay, I just love doing that. <laughs> so listen, you got to have fun. That's what Freedom Friday is all about, having fun. And if you don't want to have fun, go back to work, go do what you want to do. Listen, there's nothing wrong with a job. You know, I, I tell people that all the time. You know, I hate when people always down jobs, you know. I don't know about you. If you do, you know, give me a high five in there. Give me a like. Give me a, a plus. I don't like when people put down jobs because if you're building a network marketing profession correctly, first of all, you shouldn't be telling people to quit their job tomorrow, okay? You, you should let them go out and build it the, the proper way of doing it. Now, if they're not working, they can obviously do it. But... If, they're, if you're working, what you want to do is you want to go out there and you want your job to pay your bills so there's no pressure on you. And then you take your TV time. Like my sponsor, Ruth, used to always say, the non-productive time. Okay, and now with DVRs, we didn't have that 30 years ago. Now you have DVRs, you can record it. You know what I do when you have six Saturdays and a Sunday? Ha, I stay up late. I watch all the shows that I would have watched at 8, 9, 10, 11. I watched them from like, you know, 11 o'clock till two o'clock in the morning. You know why? Because it doesn't matter if I get up a little late. That's what you want to strive for. So you got to get up off the couch and you got to go out and make your message simple. Now, I wrote in my blog post, you know, exactly what I do, but I, I love what Eric Worre says about if I would you. In other words, I like to tell people, if I text you a link to my private webinar, would you watch it? I love now that we can text. See, years ago, you could say, well, listen, if I give you a CD, would you watch it? And then you got to get their telephone number and all of that. But if you say, if I text it to you, guess what you got? Their phone number. You already got their phone number. So it makes the next section, the next thing to do that much easier. So I say, hey, if I text you a link to my private webinar, would you watch it? And then if they say, they can either say yes or no. Hey, listen, if they say no, hey, go for the no's. Don't worry about the no's, folks. Those people, they're going to, you know, they got their own mission and plan in life. You know, maybe when they get older, they become a baby boomer and they want to get some fun money to come back to you. Okay. But if they say yes, I take out my phone. Okay. And I say, what's your number? And they, they give me their number. What did I get? I got their telephone number. I already got their name. Now I go in there, I text them the link. So now I text them the link to my private webinar, okay? Now they go to my private webinar, and then I say to them as I'm texting it, hey, when is a good time for you to watch this webinar? You see, because I want them to give a little commitment too. So let's say I meet them on a Tuesday and they, or on a Monday or something. And they say to me, hey, listen, uh, I'll watch it on Wednesday. I say, hey, that's great. You watch it on Wednesday and I'll text you on Thursday and we can continue our conversation. How's that sound? Hey, that sounds good. Hey, listen, I got to go. I got to get back. I, you know, I, I like to do this in the gym because then I can, you know, talk about working out. Hey, let me go get on that machine before somebody else takes it. Get away from them. Don't stay there and make everything so, you know, tough, okay? Start, you know, asking them a million questions and everything about everything. Stop vomiting all over them, okay? Now, the third S is social media. That's right, folks, social media. 
Social media, listen, when I first got started in this industry, we didn't have this opportunity to connect with people all over the world. You know, we have a saying in our company, social, mobile, and global, okay? So now you can meet people online socially, start to develop friendships with them all over the world. So if, let's say you're opening up a new country. Let's say you're opening up uh, Argentina, okay? So you go online, you start looking for people from Argentina, and you go in there and you start to connect with them. That's really important, okay? Now, here's the other thing about social media. A lot of people are out there, they're once again doing the same thing that they were doing before, not keeping it simple. They're vomiting all over people, writing everything about their products. Listen, stop flooding the internet with all your product knowledge. Okay, people are, you know what they do? They don't watch it, folks. They don't watch it, they get rid of you. They stop watching you. They don't wanna watch you talking about your super duper vitamin, skincare, fat loss, this, that. They don't wanna see all of that stuff. There's a way of doing it. There's a way of connecting with people properly on Facebook. And if you go to my website, I give you some free links that you can really learn about social media. That's at newyorkmike.com. Okay, I give you some links, it's free. Uh, I, in fact, I have a whole webpage, so all free trainings about a whole bunch of different things uh, that you can learn on social media. Go learn the basic stuff and then keep doing it. This is part of doing a social media uh, experience, folks. Learn how to do Facebook Lives. Learn how to do Facebook ads to attract customers to you. You gotta learn how to do these things, you know? And that's why I did this post today because so many people need help in this area as you know the young millennials think they well they know it you know they know all about social media and they're all excited about it but the problem is is after you talk about social media please run over the three s's again hey no problem <laughs> so what it is is you got to understand you can actually go to newyorkmike.com i have it all written out there for you so it'll be nice and easy for you so but but listen real quick is social media is so important, but you can't you can't just be you know every day your people are, people are seeing your ad day in and day out and day in and day out. They stop communicating, po folks, with you. Social media is supposed to be social, where people interact with each other. So that's really important. So you know, number one is sharing your story. Number two is keeping it simple, and number three is social media. Because like I said, we're in the social mobile global world and you gotta start to learn how to do it, folks. You gotta, and, and listen, share this with people that you know, folks, okay? This is important. And, and listen, you know, everybody in our profession needs to be, you know, thinking about these three s separate things, no matter what company you're with. You know, you got to learn how to share it every day, keep out there, keep talking to people, making it simple. That's really important. Making your message, you know, years ago, like I said, you could give out a CD, you could, uh, you know, give them a piece of literature. Remember when we used to give literature all the time and everything? And you can still do that. Don't get me wrong. You, if you got a company CD, give them a CD. If you got a company literature, give them that. I like to use Texan because I accomplish something immediately. I get their telephone number. So, because some people don't like to give you their telephone numbers, but in the world now that we live in of social, mobile, and global, guess what they love to do? Oh yeah, yeah, send me that, send me that. Because everybody wants to text. They don't want to talk anymore. They want to text. So, you know, an older guy like me, I learned when I got started in computers back in 1990 that I needed to learn this stuff. And I invested my time and my energy, like you need to do it in social media now, that's what I did in 1990. I started to learn about computers. I started doing things. I started talking to the people who knew about it. Uh, now as we progressed, now it's social media. So guess who I wanna hang around with? I wanna hang around with the social media people. I wanna find out what they know, where, where they're getting their information from. How can I make my life easier? And that's why, you know, I, I have one thing on it. I got a free 10-page PDF report on there to show you how to instantly start to brand your business, get leads, and make sales. It's free. You know what some people are going to do? Well, I'm not going to go look at that. No, nah, hey, listen, don't go look at it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but if you go to NewYorkMike.com, the ones who are going to look at it are going to look at it. The ones who don't, don't. That's okay. But I'm begging you, please go find somewhere that you can start to learn social media because you want to learn how to do it right. 
So many people are just, blech, they're puking all over social media and it's turning, the, it's turning the people off to who? To our profession. That's right. They're going, oh no, another network marketer telling me about his vitamin, his fat loss product, his this product. Listen, there's a time and a place to do it. There's a way of doing it. Okay? And you want to learn how to do that. So listen, just briefly, share this with everybody you know. Get the message out, folks. This is a, this is a great uh, blog post. You can go. You can read it. You can go over it. And I would encourage you to make sure you read it at the beginning of the week. Make this a, a weekly reading thing so that you can you know, stay on focus on what you're doing out there. But please, keep it simple. All right, so listen, go out, have a great day. It's Freedom Friday. I know you're excited about your Saturdays and Sundays coming up if you're working. Hey, but hey, if you're in your office now watching this, high five to you. Keep working hard. Do the best you can at your job. And then go out tonight and go share your opportunity with the world. God bless. Have a great weekend. Freedom Fridays, baby. Six Saturdays and a Sunday. Let's rock and roll. Freedom, baby. Freedom.